What's going on? John Doe with the Reese up 14 months. Hammy. Who sped up the clock? What guys I got here so fast? That's what I'm talking about. With the wings with the resub 27. Is it weird? Here, let's get some let's get some actual sounds going. Huh? Those are your game sounds. Love it. With the wings with that resub 27 month streak. Brandy Lion gifting out those five subs. Did we get buddy bombs going? Hmm? Neptune, can you tell me Neptune X? Did we get buddy bombs rolling? For Brandy Lion. Brandy Lion, thank you for that. Those gifted five subs. Redhead Hemi with a hundred bits that says new game. It is indeed. We're gonna try this Sherlock Holmes. Uh Wand Wand Ryan Ron, Wandrian? Wandrian? I like it. With that prime sub, six months. Random over the resub, 29 and how about it? So we're gonna be getting going get with the job from I was yeah, We're gonna be trying this Sherlock Holmes game. And uh, I don't even know what to make of it. Real, what's up, real? Real with the sub there, 22 months. Uh, we're going to be giving this a go. And uh, I, I, have no, I don't even know. I have no idea what to expect. I, In fact, I think my game is still, my stream is still set to um, mature. <laughs> Which is probably good. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's still immature. Uh, if not, well, then I'm immature. So, a little bit of both. You know what I'm saying? Spinach tots with the resub 12 months. That is a whole year. Says, sorry, I've not been about skiz. I finally finished uni. What's uni? University? It started full. Yeah, and it started full time work. Thanks for keeping me going and encouraging me with your amazing energy and outlook at life. Excellent. Simo with the resub nine months. That's our Twitch baby. I have a little nipper off my. Kevin Bubbles Moon refrigerator. Jimmy Mada. Do you think? Hey, my baby. I have my, uh, my coffee here. I have no idea what to expect with this game. None. Okay, that's how I do things. I don't look into anything. So now what I'm getting you is we're gonna up ah, first of all settings. Let's go to let's go to controls. Let's find that mouse and let's let's uh let's do some stuff. Where's the mouse? What's happening? Is there no mouse work? Oh here we go. Uh, you can't invert the mouse. I don't see anything. Gameplay. And here we go. Nooch. Like a normal person. Even though we've done that, we've done the polls. It's like 3% of people are awesome. Like me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's time to get going. Now here's the deal. What was my day? Like, uh, people, I went and got myself. I had to go back to the retina specialist and they did the, they dilated me again. And then, and, and, and it, was, it was the worst. It was the worst. I was in, I like, they dilated me. And then I was in like the waiting room for like over an hour. I'm like, they're going to have to dilate me again. They, they, they did all their booking all weird. Uh, okay. We go back now. Okay. You guys ready for, oh, difficulty. Mm, let's just leave all defaults. Can we do that? <laughs> Is that cool? Can we leave defaults? <laughs> Peter Petro, the resub two months. I got gifted a sub last month, but I decided to keep it going because you're such a cool and inspiring dude. Keep up the good work, my dude. Thank you for that. Derps with Thunder Bits. Last night, I dreamt in color. Then I woke up and I realized it was just a pigment of my imagination. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not met Derps, the absolute messiah of the dad jokes. And we love them. We love the jet, the dad jokes. Skiz with the big peepers. You have no idea. It was I looked like Bernie Rubble. Wait, he had no pupils. Who did I look like? I look like something all right let's go so now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go back and i'm gonna hit new game i have no idea what's going on to pin evidence to the screen simply press x while it's you know, it's in your case book okay ready can you guys hear the game i want to know you can hear it i want to make sure you guys can hear it like like we're good we're having we're, we're i don't know what i'm gonna do with this up ah, okay story time ah, red stripe the red stripe did it. Shadow, shadow over London. Baker Street. Why am I reading to you guys? I'm not skipping. We're going to watch. We're going to enjoy. Everybody shut up. I'm trying to watch. That guy's had a bad day. His pupils are dilated. 
Dr. Watson, would you kindly close the door behind you so that we can limit the price of your carelessness to merely hours of work rather than days? My apologies, Mr. Holmes. I found myself rather taken aback. <laughs> I saw tidy houses in war-torn Afghanistan. Are those my surgical needles? I ran out of tax and the matter required immediate attention. Was that my supper? Plainly not, for I was the one who ate it. Hmm, I set it aside for this evening. And for that, I am grateful. Is that my bed? Watson, since you've proven yourself a master of observation, might I ask you to apply your skills to a more pertinent question? Namely, the whereabouts of today's newspapers. They are the key to everything. The newsboy is usually reliable. Medically speaking, I often find that the key to everything is good sleep. In a bed. Your papers are here, on the table. These guys aren't getting along. Let us see what the postman oh. brought today. All right, let's see what the postman brought today. All right, so I am... Am I... I get to be Sherlock. Yes. Okay. And up. It's just like... Uh, I. Wait, is it... I don't... I want to look through my his own peepers. I don't like this POV. I don't like it. All right, so let's... Okay, let's look at the newspaper. Okay, so... Hold to inspect it. Go like this. Oh. Whoop. London Advertiser, 1882. This is a long time ago. Tensions between England and Sweden are running high after a series of unfortunate mishaps during a recent visit to London by Swedish Princess... Der. <laughs> That's too close to my favorite poker player. Okay, Tom Dwan, who goes by the online handle of Der. Right. Der, princess. Der. All right. So a uh, recent visit to London by Swedish princess. Der. Uh, <laughs> Do you guys remember the dirt counter? We got a jokes in there. There's jokes. What's that about it? What's that about it? Jokes and I were talking earlier today. Uh, Do you guys remember the dirt counter back in there? Let's focus. Uh, chief among the scandals was the embarrassment of the British diplomat. Core, diplomatic core, as a result of the unexplained disappearance of Princess D, personal bodyguard. The longtime member of her inner circle took the opportunity. I'm going to probably do the Durr thing every time. I hope we're all cool with that. <laughs> the longtime member of her inner circle took the opportunity to explore London off duty and never return from his late night promenade. If you say promenade, it makes you sound cooler. Can we go? Do I go down or what am I, what's happening? Right now. Click. A click. Local gossip. All of it uninteresting. All right. Well now what? Let's let's uh let's investigate this napkin. Let's investigate this up. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'm doing this. Ooh. Ooh. What's that say, peeps? Vogel? I can't like quite turn it proper. Let me turn it up. What does this say? Vogel? Does that say Vogel? And if I hit X, what, nothing is going to happen. Another letter from Werner. They oh. never reply, but they keep coming. No, all right, sir. All right, so Werner, Werner. All right, I think I want to get out of here. I'm going to go like this. Okay, now what about over here? That I did the newspaper. What am I supposed to be doing? <gasps> Ooh, can I use this? Yeah, pointing right at the next building. That's not creepy. Have you guys played this and beat this game? Probably. Where's all that? She probably developed this game. What is happening right now? Pick, clean this mess up. Ooh, we go in the fire. Can I crouch? Whoa. What's that going to do? Hold on. Okay, London Advertiser. Oh, this is what we read already. See, look, there is more. How do I? <laughs> People, these are my notes. Jokes, have you played this game already? Go back to the table. It said two of three in yellow. Did it? Let's go look at that. Where do you see that? Oh, I see. I What, I got to lick this clean? Gross. So I looked at that. I looked at... What about this? Oh, that's the third one. Eh. Eh. It's hard to rotate how I want it to be. 
Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. All right, well, now Watson's in a good mood. I'm an expert at... I don't see the strand. <laughs> Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after <laughs> that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. Wow. I really got a... I got a thing for the newspaper. The strand is missing. So that's what we got to go find, the strand. Okay, I'm going now. We're going to go find the... We got to go to the garbage bin and pull out the strand. It's raining today. Why not dress in something more appropriate for the weather? Open the case book with C. Navigate to the wardrobe tab and hit tab. So boom. And then... Uh, wardrobe. Well, because it's raining, I got a bit... Look at this. Look at that. It's looking dapper. Woohoo! This will keep me warm. What? This is what the, my eyeball looks like. What is happening? What just happened? Okay, we go now. I have a wind coat. Is that better? Okay. Um, I just want to look around real quick before we go outside. It's cold out there. And I think whenever we see the stuff pop up, like the little circle, that's when we're good to go. I'm almost about to re-invert the mouse. It's different. It's stupid like this. I'm going to uninvert it. I think it's going to be better if I uninvert this mug. Uh, because when you're in this point of view, it's like really strange. Super strange. Stars with that resub 21 months. Upside down melon cake with a resub 15 months. What's up? How many minutes? The camera's moving choppy. What are you talking about? Smooth. Smooth. Okay, let's go. Watson, get out there. You find my newspaper. Okay. What's up, all my honey bunnies? All right, I'll talk to you. The dustbin is yours for the digging, Mr. Holmes. All right, I got to do this myself. You threw it away, and I got to do this. This is you the... You mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Yeah, it didn't have dookie on it. All right, so the paper's got potting soil on it. One of two. So there's another thing in here I got to do? You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. Okay, well, that's super. Can I pick it up? You were mistaken. Okay, well, I don't need to know that again. Was indeed dirty, Ooh, with that strand right there. <gasps> it's potting soil. Look. Look at this. This is important. I know it. A cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. Okay. See, Watson, the conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. I am very paranoid. Oh, we can run now with this. Get the <laughs> strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Look at this. What's up, you little bugger? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Blast. Then why are you still here? Yeah. Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. I just want to, I want to put this out there. Okay. I was about to say, what are you still, what are you waving your hands about for? So I could be Sherlock Holmes. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I'm pretty sure. Jen with the resub eight months was watching the sons of the forest on YouTube, but remembered I needed to resub. Well, thank you, Jen. Um, okay. Ready? What happened to my newspaper? You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here. Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me. Did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm. Like the man with your newspaper? <gasps> Precisely. This kid knows. You know. I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Cool. Now I can take the day off. Dude, this kid's about to shank me. All right, here we go. Uh, what, what, what did he do with the paper? Tell me about the man on our doorstep. Where was he headed? 
Let's do this one. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise. And all I could see was him kneeling at your door. Okay, so there was a loud bang. Then he was kneeling. This is my Sherlock Holmes thinking eyeballs. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. Nothing gets by me. Uh, we already did this one. Right? You described the man you saw. Oh, he was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin, they were. Never heard of a well read assassin. Looks can deceive. Hence the appeal of disguises. All right. You earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Like Maybe this? I could be your eyes and ears if you have more shillings. Do it like this. You didn't give it to him. All right, see ya. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand. You here. just said you were going to take the day off. All right, let's see what else we got here. So this guy's a, the guy's a punk. Somebody's trying to kill me. I want to do one thing real quick. Let's go to settings. Kitty mama will resub. 27 months. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Love your face. Well, thank you. Yeah, I think. I know a lot of people been wondering what happened the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I, might, I might, I might, I might talk a little bit about it at the end of the stream. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to turn the music down. I want to be able to hear everything else better. Okay. Boom and boom. And concentration. What's that going to do? We're going to hit Q. Analyze surroundings is Z. Let's do Q, Z, and K. Ready? Get the Get Ready? Copy of the Q. Here. Whoa. Shut up. I knew that kid was a ghost. Whoa. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand okay. here. What does K do? That what's who ruined the strand? And and, yeah, and then let's do Z. Whoa, what's that? Did you guys see that? Watch this, guys. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. I guess there's a cooldown on it. I don't know what that does. Z is analyzed surroundings. Okay. Moving on. We still gotta find out. Hey, did you poison me? Jerk. <laughs> that's how you fight. That's how you get people to up. Oh, let's go make her feel better. You want to get some tea and crumpets? I don't know. I don't know your culture. Crumpets. I guess I just turned my back to her. <laughs> this is how I'm going to help. <laughs> I'm a child. Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona. Watson's a huge help. Sir Chaos with the resub 12 months. That's our year. One year already. Does not feel like it's been that long. I'd like to thank all of the little people that made this possible most recently. I'll let for my gifted sub. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I'm going to find out who's uh, tried to kill me. And, and then I'm going to give him a Get what the for. Strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Uh, this kid's got no more newspapers, everybody. Just want to let you know that. Hey, horsey, how many man, eh? What about you? You guys, do you want you to talk to me? Why was that lady crying? I think I should pay attention to the fact that that lady was crying. That feels important. This is not, this Get is too, strand. too random. Copy of the strand here. What are you crying about? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you want to talk to me? No. Let's analyze it up. And then hop. Okay, so this is like what I don't know what the Q Q is concentration. I really like this. This is how he saw the world, dude? Because this is pretty cool, man. She's upset. She's in this and not an Assassin's Creed. Okay, well, I really I feel like this is a clue. Fine. Come back to you later. Pull yourself together. Ooh. The strand, dude. Okay, maybe I can read this. Why don't you pick it up? <sighs> and then heard a loud 
noise. He said that the man was kneeling at her doorstep afterwards. The newsboy lost sight of him due to his customers. We're going to figure this out. Go to the mine place. What's the mine place? What, this here? What is this? Up! Oh! What? Am I cooking? Am I connecting synapses? Dude, what is happening? Cactus spine, potentially poisoned. Was it? I don't get it. What what is happening? What Joker? What is happening? Tell me what to do. I I don't get it. I'm connecting synapses. That's what it looks like. This is how Sherlock. This is what my. This is how he does things. He goes into his brain. He grabs synapses. He's like, I don't know. Put this there. This or there. I know who did it. I don't, I don't understand. Your ideas. Your ideas. Okay, so, okay, so what is that? Who ruined the strand? Okay, so I think. Okay, let's just leave that right like that for now. I can't open anything else. Let's get back to work here. I got to find more clues. Hey, bird. You got anything for me? What? I've got a new question in my mind. My mind palace. Open the casebook with C, then navigate to the mine palace. Inside, select relevant pieces of evidence to deduce the answer. So, like, do this again? Okay, where's the mine palace? This guy here? That's this here. That's how he stores and makes connections. Okay, well, I did what they wanted me to do. Do we think the book from Barnes is related? I think that the cactus spine is a big deal. Okay, this is happening. I'm leaving it connected. Feel it. Going back. Okay, we got to look for more clues, people. Press Q and E in the Mind Palace to cycle categories. Let's do that. Let's see what you're talking about. I do this. And if I do, all right, so what, like what other, oh, I didn't know I had more, oh, newsboy's testimony. Oh, up. Oh. Strand is missing. London advertiser, book from Barnes, strand is missing. What happened to my needle? Okay. What? The newsboy said the suspicious man was carrying a stack of books, and this morning, Mr. Barnes, the local bookseller, delivered a novel for Mr. for Dr. Watson. A cactus spine for assassination, a loud bang, a visit to Mr. Barnes is in order. Oh. <laughs> Joker, you shut up! Uh <laughs> okay, so... You're changing categories. Okay, I don't need the snarkiness, okay? Just 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 the information. Salsa Serena with the 300 bits. No, I want salsa. Hey skids, hope you're having a good day. I have persuaded my daughter to listen to the podcast. Excellent. They're having a positive impact on her too. Thank you, and please keep going with them. Thank you. I should I tell you guys what this Friday's is about? You guys want to know what this Friday's, this upcoming podcast on Friday is gonna be about? Mike with the resub, 14 months, grilling and skis. You guys want to know? I'll tell you. Here, I'll give you a hint. No, that's a terrible hint. Um, all right, so we got to go see Mr. Barnes. This has to happen. Uh, this Friday, I'm editing it now. I'm almost halfway through the edit. This Friday is all about swagger. Oh, you heard me. Did a podcast on swagger. It's going to be super dupe pooper scoop. 
Okay, so let's get back in here. So, okay, so this like did its thing where it's like, okay, we, we feel good now, right? I don't need to cycle anymore. We feel good. Go through the categories. To me, those weren't categories, jokes. Those were items. Kilgore with the resub. Guys, we got to go to, uh, we got to go see. Mr. Holmes murder? Yes, Barnes has his quirks, but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. Whoa. Okay, he didn't know he was trying to kill me. Hey, where's Mr. Barnes? Are you him? No. Okay, so I gotta I gotta go to Mr. Barnes's place. There are items that belong in certain categories, you jerk. You need to select the right item and connect them to the right categories. Alright. Why you think you're so smart? Jokes, why don't you tell me how to get to Mr. Barnes? Don't tell me, you probably already know. Great meatball, get the now 10 subs. Can we get those buddy bombs rolling, people? Pin the evidence with a bookshop photo by pressing X. What does that mean? What do you talk about? Oh, what? What? What's pinning the evidence going to do? Mr. Barnes is involved in the scheme. The news. Oh, the newsboy said, okay, I got it. But where is Mr. Barnes? Maybe he'll tell about me. That vocal fellow. He seems rather obsessed with you. Would he do something like this? We have to go see Mr. Barnes, bro. Don't you know what I'm saying? Cool cats, what's up? Great meeple, thank you again. Gifting out those 10 subs. Okay, I'm gonna go to Mr. Barnes' place. I have no idea where he's at. Is there is there like a map in here somewhere? Newspaper. Oh. Okay. This is the place. Stenwick's Manor. Where's Mr. Barnes? It wants me to see Mr. Barnes. I'm not crazy, right? Mr. Joker, you stop it now. What do I, what do I do? I want to, okay. I got to see Mr. Barnes. A visit to Mr. Barnes is in order, but I'm not seeing how to get there. Get out of my way. By the way, this is, this is Sherlock Holmes run. I was expecting something a little bit, a little bit more impressive, buddy. It's like a little trot he's doing. We got to find out what in the world. Oh, Red Seagull. Oh my goodness. Gracious. Red Seagull gifting out 50 subs. Holy smokes. We need buddy bombs cracking the screen in half. How? Seriously. Broken skizzy modes. Red Seagull. Unbelievable, man. Gifting out those 50 subs. Thank you, Red Seagull. Goodness. Buddy bombs rolling for Red Seagull. You're unbelievable. You're unbelievable. Oh, this guy looks like he knows something. Hey, hey! Can I ask you a question? No, sir. I've never heard of it. So that just happened. That just happened. Red Skull, thank you again. Goodness me. My husband is on the phone listening in on the stream from my computer. Driving a big rig. He really thinks it's hilarious when you say the princess's name. <laughs> what are you talking about? You mean princess? <clears throat> so let's. Can I ask you a question? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about it. Okay, I'm gonna keep asking. May I ask for your assistance? No, sir. I've never heard of it. Give me one more time. Excuse me, just one question. No, sir. I've never heard of it. This guy's worthless. Why is it even allowing me to talk to him? Orange bookshop, dude. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Those are worthless. Move out of the way. I'm going in. Get out of the way. Isn't this Barnes Bookshop? No. Did you see the Barnes Bookshop thing? Joke with the resub. Seven months. Joe Eck. Guys, didn't you see? The, didn't it look like... Didn't it look to you like it said Mr. Barnes? Look! Am I just there now? I just, I'm just there. That's him. Okay. Listen, he doesn't know we're here. Okay. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to pull off his top hat. I'm going to pretend to throw up into it. Like I'm sick. And I'm like, Ooh, and he's going to be like, are you okay? And then uppercut. 
And then I'm gonna look at look at me getting ready for it. See, I'm nervous. Okay, let's do this. Give me your hat. All right, let's do this. What, what do you got? You're you're useless. Going in. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna throw up on his face. I don't know what needs to happen, but throw up has to happen. Why go through all this scheming to murder you? A spine stuck to the newspaper is hardly lethal. I, I, n nobody mentioned anything about murder. A ruined newspaper is hardly the end of the world. We can always buy another. A ruined newspaper is hardly the end of the world. We can always buy another. Do you guys hear a dog panting? <laughs> Pop. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the great detective, Sherlock Holmes, and a hat full of vomit. That's how you get it done. Up. Oh. You guys ready? It's happening. What is this? Why does it say observe? What's it want from me? Big bata boom. The resub. Guys, rats ago. 50 gifted subs. Unbelievable. What does he want from me? Okay, okay, everybody be cool. Okay. Ooh, bags under the eyes. So he's tired. Okay. What else we got? Terrible hairdo. Hasn't been on a date in a while. Got it. Oh, disgusting. Oh, he's dirty. He's a filthy fella. Can't get I can't get my mouse down there. What's happening right now? That's a, those are filthy hands. I can't get my mouse down there. This is strange. Like, I can't, like, look, the mouse just, like, stops and does this. <laughs> Meanwhile, this, guy, this guy's trying to read, and I'm just, like, looking at him. <sighs> you got bags under your eyes, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to look at his fingers. I can't get the mouse down there for some reason. Let me, let me escape and come back in. Now, let's try this again. All right, we're gonna try again, buddy. Yeah, I can't get the, <laughs> maybe right here, no. I can't get the mouse to go down there, guys. It's the weirdest thing. There's more stuff to, here, let me, eh. I can only, look right, eh. oh, here we go, I can move, okay, here we go, I can move my whole body. Okay, here we go, ink, newspaper ink. This guy, this is a guy. There's a guy. Okay. And. <laughs> Look at Curly. W A S N D. <laughs> What's up, McBean? The mouse is respecting his personal space. I love it. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's see. What else you got? Do we need to look in here? You got, you got any buggies? Got some buggies, homie? What's in there? No, no, no. Up. Oh. Okay. Leans heavily on his right leg. There's no way you would know that. Come on. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What you got here? Up. Oh. High heels, wants to look taller. All right. We are just calling this guy out. We are calling this guy out in every way possible. All right, we got ink, uh, newspaper ink, high heels, wants to look taller, sore left leg, the effects of overwork. So he's tired. Uh, all right, Mr. Barnes has developed a limp and has a large bags under his eyes as a result of long hours. He's not very confident and tries to appear taller. Can he just like a, a fine pair of shoes? Why do we gotta, why do we gotta bust this guy like this? Seems unlikely that such a person would be involved in a murder plot, even if the ink on his hand suggests he's the one who soiled the newspaper. Nevertheless, Mr. Barnes could still be a pawn in a bigger plan. Okay. Which one are we going with? Workaholic? Blackmail victim? I guess it's not really choosing. Oh, it is. Mmm. I'm kind of... I don't know. He tried to poison me. Let's go with workaholic. 
I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Macaroni cheese, the resub. Okay, we're doing it. Mr. Barnes. Mr. Barnes has developed a limp and has large bags under his eyes as a result of long hours. Not very confident. Seems unlikely. Got it. Good. Mr. Barnes, a word. <gasps> he shocked him alive, dude. I saw that. Oh, for goodness sake. Is that Joel? Who, uh, who goes there? Sherlock Holmes. Now, will you please? Did you guys see that? Holmes. Golly, I did not see you coming. What? You just Would really... you care to answer some questions for me? Well, I wish I could, but I am deep in the weeds with work. How about we uh, reschedule in a month or two? Come now, Mr. Barnes. It will only take a moment. Really deep in the weeds with uh, with important things. Well, help yourself to any book. Just take it to pay later. I trust you, Mr. Holmes. Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. Let's find a way to coax him out. All right, press Z to highlight the interactive areas in the environment around you. Nooch. Oh, that's what that was. Ah. Oh, look at them all. Let's go look at this painting. This will tell me who tried to kill me. I could hardly imagine anything more macabre. All right, that didn't help me a little I bit. I hardly imagine anything more macabre. What do we got here? Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. It appears Barnes has an interesting hobby. All right. Exotic plants. Okay. This is where the this is where the cactus came from, dude. The game voices are quiet. Are they quiet for you guys? You can turn those up a little bit. Lady Sakura with the resub 22 months. Yeah, Lady Sakura. Alright. So this is this guy, this is this is where the cactus needle came from. I just I know it. This guy had to read a book to know that cactuses are real. Okay, let's turn those up then. Settings, audio, voices, crank it. All right, now I'm gonna I need I want to get I want to get rid of this. I don't need this anymore. How do I get rid of it again? Like this? Okay, okay, we got rid of it. Now, do I need to go back into here? This is the first one, right? Okay, now we go here. Okay, you ready, jokes? We're gonna do this, buddy. Uh, cryptology books. Okay, so this one here. Okay, I try to cactus spine. No, not cryptology. I mean, I didn't mean cryptology. I meant this one and this one. But this one. Why is this? Joker, you better stop it. I didn't, I didn't even say anything. <laughs> oh. Okay, so check it out. So cactus plants. So I feel like exotic plants. Let's take that away for a second. Exotic plants. And this. Character portrait. It should be this. Uh. You get one from each category. I don't think the strain missing means anything. Don't you know? Well, Joker, if he would do his tasks. Spot six with the resub, five months. Thank you, spot six. Guys, what am I, what are, here we go. Yellow goes to yellow. I know it's good. See what a jerk he is? This guy. You have to be a jerk like that. So yellow goes, I get it, dude. But like, but don't you think stuff and things like, is this, is there, oh, here's green. Yeah. But like none of these are related. I say all of this means nothing. Yeah. Right. That's a, that's a, what did I do? Just, did I just have an aneurysm? What happened? You're gonna start over. Okay, so check it out. All right, let's do this. All right, so you gotta... <clears throat> let's put it all together now. I'm telling you now, with my face, 
that this here, cactus spine, that has to be related. I mean, it has to be related to, where'd that book go? What? Items. Connect it. Okay. I mean, like, are we serious? Can't be. What do you guys think it is? So I see two different things that have Barnes in the name. Book from Barnes. But that does nothing. What do you guys think it is? <laughs> Thank you. See, I've been watching this whole time. I still don't understand. <laughs> I only get to pick one. I only get to pick one what from each color? Because it's it's it would seem I need to pick the right ones and then it goes ding, and then it's like that's the connection, right? Per color, per color. So one per color. All right, so one per So I get that. So we got to find out what is the, so let's, how about this? I'm going to do this. Now let's look at up. All right, let's go here. What is that? Go, go, oops, I was, okay. Right. So check it out. So. It's, it's actually not easy to cycle through these. Like, we're, like, remember there was a bunch of them and they're not here anymore. <laughs> what is happening? Why aren't they here anymore? The news. All right, here we go. Newsboy's testimony. Book from Barnes. Cryptology book. So maybe this one. Because he said he was carrying a stack of books. Stack of books. And then. How do I get to the yellow stuff now? Observations. It's a puzzle. Listening to each testimony and taking into account each item, you got to piece it together. <laughs> All right, jokes. I'm not listening to you anymore. Um, so let's go. The thing I'm trying to get to the yellow ones now, and I don't know how to get there. Like observations, right? So here I am. I got to learn. Okay, so we have observation and items, documents, and testimonies. Okay, so I got that. I really do. I need to be able to see all of them. I don't know why I can't see them all. Let's unpin everything. I want to unpin everything. We're unpinning all of it. Okay, so here's the two items. Books from Barnes and Cryptology. <clears throat> okay, so it's one of those. Now, why do the observations not show up? So let's say it's, let's say it's book from Barnes. We'll go, that's what we'll do for that one. Now, next. Okay, we have Newsboy's testimony, and we know it can't be that, so how do we get to the yellow one? Derps of the 100 Bits, what do you call a duo of detective electricians? Sherlock Holmes and Watts, Watt son. <laughs> uh, I need to investigate more, all right. See, Bop and Joker should go bowling together. Or they act like jerks. All right, let's let's look around. I know that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, we got to find everything else, guys. I don't know why you guys were wasting my time trying to get me to connect those synapses. Uh, apologies, <laughs> but I can't hear you. Please come back later. There's the dog. So Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? All right, sir. Um, let's. Barnes has always been a little odd, but this is uncharacteristic even for him. Let's do let's do the Z, the observation thing. Oh, look at this. Oh, over here. Over here, guys. A ladder. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood. Broken ladder. Do I have to find 50 things in here before I can piece them all together again? Oh, there's lots of stuff. Oh, here we go, people. In the 
language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. What? Dead flowers on display. Oh, I'm saying he's okay. I'm saying that, though, like it's like I did it. He's dead. Well, you better take these flowers down, man. I never felt better. Okay. Yeah, you guys think that the the broken ladder is why it hurts him? Why he's not feeling good? Up, oh, right there. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. Oh, fair, fair. Okay, still looking around. I wanna, I wanna recognize it before I click on it. Where? where? Up. Man, there's something else here. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. Well, what do we say? This here? I can't move down. Mm. Okay, we have more clues now. I knew I had to look elsewhere. I can't find anything else. I can't find anything else. Mm. Hold on. I'm gonna find it before. I wish I could move back. Moving side to side. Any fingerprints on here? Dude, I am focused. This doesn't help me at all. People. Oh, through the window? Oh. <clears throat> Shut up. Okay, here we go. The finest view London has to offer. It's all three of them. Dead it. Solve the crime. Okay, now ready for more stuff? Up, oh, over here. Okay, what do we got here? I don't want to leave. I'm back. Got to be more stuff, people. Coming back here, I'm looking around. Up, oh, no. I don't, want, I don't need to talk to this guy. We're looking for a cactus needle in a haystack. Hmm. A spine in a book stack? No, come on, Watson. Think. This dog's got to help me. I know it. Want to work with me again, dog? So, Barnes has a dog now. Who's a good boy? I bet he's... I bet... Give me that bone. And I want that dog to move. Something's under that rug. Something's under this rug, people. Over here. Go to the mine place. You think it's already time? I look like I had to do more stuff. All right, let's go to the mine place. All right. All right, it's go time. We're here now. Patrick's with the resub six months. Okay. <clears throat> now then. This is happening. Okay. So here's all the different items. Books from Barnes. Cactus spine. Potentially poison. Barnes broken ladder. Cryptology books. I'm gonna un I wanna undo that. Okay. Alright, just working on the blue ones right now. <laughs> we got a birthday in the house uh to Dad's Punny. Well let's do it. This goes out to Dad's Punny. Birthday. Here you are you have a birthday. 
Happy birthday, Dad's Punny. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so check it out. So which one do we want to do? Right? Let me go through observations. Let's let's do we got. Eh. I'm gonna undo everything. I didn't want to do that. I want to undo this. What did I just say? Okay, undo that. We're starting over. We're starting over. You can never understand what the child says while on the birthday you yo while you have a birthday. Mr. Solid Steel, the Superman of Twitch with the resub 13 months. I just finished your last Sons of the Forest video on YouTube and came straight here. Nice. That was fun. That was a fun series with them. All right. So we got, these are our blue ones. Cryptology books at Barnes. Books, uh, book from Barnes. Cactus Spine. Barnes Broken Ladder. And then we have observations. Dead flowers on display. The strand is missing. Character portrait. Mr. Barnes. I don't care about that. It's got to be this one here. Dead flowers on display. Uh, Newsboy's testimony. And Mr. Barnes is involved in the scheme. I'm going to say cryptology books. Um, dead flowers on display and newsboys testimony. Didn't work. But is it telling me that this one did? It likes this one. Who? <gasps> It likes the dead flowers on display, right? Isn't that what you would gather from that? Now that it's green, huh? Uh, the broken ladder. Who cares about the broken ladder? That's why he has a limp. I mean, who cares? Let's do this one. Cactus spine, potentially poisoned. And then... No good. All right. Seriously, the broken ladder? Who cares about the broken ladder? I don't understand why I would care. Is that, was that the bang? Did he take the ladder with him or something? This is makes no sense. It, it, it's not this, obviously. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, which one is? Documents and testimonies. Why isn't there any? The person climbing the ladder cares. <laughs> How come all my documents and testimonies are missing now? What do you think that's about? I can't undo this. This one's locked in, dude. Dead flowers on display. You still... See, I don't think I have all the clues either. I'm with you. I don't think I have all the clues either. We got to keep looking around. My question is, what I don't know is that it, are all the clues in here? Like, I'm actually genuinely wondering that. Do I need to go outside? They're missing because you tried them all. And the game said nope, which means you need new stuff. Okay. All right, so yeah, maybe they're outside. Going outside, Watson. You guys, you can stay in here and be nice and cozy. All right, so what? So how about this? How about there's got to be clues over here in regards to somebody looking for the dead flowers. Hey! Okay. All right, what about you? What do you got for me? Huh? The weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. Okay. Hey, puppers. Hello there. What's your name? Lily. I know. Not very original. Oh, okay. It's a good name. I mean, I mean, I'm I like a good name. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, not going back in there. I'm still looking for clues, people. What up, Sacred Lotus? This is like not easy. Oh, wait a minute. New books in the store. Charles Dickens, Edgar Allan Poe. What's that second one? It's been erased. This doesn't help me at all when I do that, by the way. Uh, exotic plants catalog. Why is that still there? Is that the... Why is this exotic plants catalog still here? (laughs) 
Ah, bopping jokes. Why don't you guys just go into a corner and have yourself a skiz bashing party? All right, listen, Watson, you're going to continue to get in my way. You're going to help out a little bit. You, give me some fruit. Hungy. Help me, please. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. I didn't ask you a question. Is this the guy that was ignoring me earlier? Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, sir. I've never heard of it. You're worthless. Makes me feel cool to do this mode here, but I don't know what it's supposed to do. Okay, maybe something over here. Don't talk to me unless you have something helpful. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Worthless. What did I say? May I ask for your assistance? I'm really sorry, but I can't help you. Try asking someone else. Nobody in this town is interested in helping me find out who tried to murder me. Impressive stature, strong gaze. I think this man deserves a knighthood. Really, Holmes? How can you be so sure? On rare occasions, Watson, it can suffice to trust one's gut. Is this familiar to you? I wish I could help, but I know nothing. Is what familiar? May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with that, sir. <laughs> I may need to select another clue. Select another clue? What do you mean by that? My concern is, do I need... I gotta be... There's gotta be... Oh. Is this important? No. As in the pinned item. Is that what I'm showing them? Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, so, boom. All right, so how did I pin that, though? I don't know how I... Like, maybe I show them... No, I don't have anything about it. Unpin it. Nooch. Okay. Barn's broken ladder. I don't want to show them that. Dead flowers on display. How about the cat? Let's show him this one. Should we show him this one and ask somebody about it? I see what you're saying, though. Now let's. Ask, well, you want to look at my needle? Help me, please. No, sir. I never heard of it. These people are useless. I'm. I'm gonna start smacking people. That's how Sherlock really got it done. He went. He went to the gym a lot. Who's yelling? Excuse me, just one question. Uh, excuse me, what? Well, I'm not sure I know. Okay, so this, this is, nobody can help me with anything. Ask the florist. Use your brain skin, stream your brain on full alert. Look at my needle. I should have worn something warmer. People don't tend to come out for flowers when it rains. Perhaps I should try selling door to door. Right, let's look at my clues again. Okay, let's see here. What, what does she want from me? Um, dead flowers on display. Okay. Th we're doing this one. We're going to show her the flowers and say, do you like my flowers? Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Hey. I'm showing you dead flowers. You're a florist. Is this my clue? The fact that you're a fraud? She's a fraud. She's a fraud. Maybe you should have a look at her flowers. Oh, 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 okay. Nice flower. Oh! Sometimes it feels like you guys are teaching me how to walk. That's really, really good for the ego. Okay. Let's look around, okay? Now, this this is some serious detective work, people. I got some work to do. I'm gonna left click. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the queen. I got more flowers to look at. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. She, I merely sell them. She provided the flowers. That's a needle, dude. That's the needle, man. That's the needle. I stab her with it. Poke. The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Uh, 
What'd you drop? Maybe, maybe that guy dropped him. Are we good? It's damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Okay, so we did it. I'm still looking for something else. What do you want from me? A familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? Yes. Okay, we're getting there, people. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? This is where you gotta grab her by the throat and be like, Who did you sell these to? And also, when are you off? <laughs> Lolo, cry with a thousand bits. You got this, Skiz. Trying to be Sherlock with streamer brain can be a problem. You're not wrong. Trying to be Skiz with streamer brain is difficult enough. Thank you, Lolo, cry. Okay, ready? We're gonna observe. Okay, here we go. Look at her. Like her eyes a lot. Let's look at that chin. Hmm? Right, so let's look under here first. Okay. Avoids eye contact. She's distracted. Oh, she's nervous about something. What about that chin. Wearing makeup for beauty or concealment. Hmm. I don't know. She's pretty cute. Probably doesn't need that makeup. Probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I'll tell you that right now. Morning brute. A morning brooch honoring deceased husband. More chin stuff. Unusual for work attire. Luxury fabric. Okay. Okay, if you just don't don't panic, it's gonna get a little weird, okay? I'm gonna go down here real quick. Ah, I just gotta look at your shoe. Change shoes upon arrival because they're clean. This is the woman who tried to kill me, dude. Okay. All right. Mrs. Fleming uses makeup to hide her tear-stained cheeks. Her dress is made from an expensive fabric that's not suitable for outside work. Her shoes show no traces of mud. She must have changed them when she arrived. While she tries to bury her grief by dressing extravagantly, she still wears a mourning brooch in memory of her late husband. Her gaze always staring off into the distance. So grieving or ready to move on? So grieving or just... Mm, no, boy. I'm going to say ready to move on. So grieving. Ready to move on. Okay. We did it. Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Oh. Holmes. She did not like that. Okay, per okay, so choose evidence. For what reason? What do I want to choose evidence for now? So walk around and say, what do you guys think of this? Oh, Roach. What was I saying? Brooch? <laughs> Brooch? <laughs> What does she want from me? So I need more clues. What does this provide evidence? I'm gonna like she want. What does she want? I don't get this. Provide evidence. Like provide evidence to what? <laughs> provide her evidence. <laughs> you are not. Choose evidence to solve the mystery. That's what. The, the, eh. Exotic plants catalog. Let's just, let's just use this then. Why don't you look at my exotic plants? Watson brought in the morning's post, but the strand is missing. Why is there a question mark here? Okay. I want to do the thing. I want to connect my synapses. I'm going to leave. I'll be off. Okay, that I got more evidence. I got more evidence, everybody. I think it might be time to do some more goodness. Okay, so cryptology book. But it's not nothing's green anymore. That's showing green. Dead flowers on display. That one we're good with. The yellow one we seem to be done with, yeah. But there's still more observations. Once it's green, so once it's green.
First circle with her face on it. See the thing, so here's my confusion. So see this here, these are observations and now it's locked in with green. That tells me that whatever the next thing is, that's settled. So it feels like there's no other colors I need to worry about. I mean, no other yellows I need to worry about. Can we get on here? Let's get leveled there. Do you guys agree with me there? That once one of the colors gets locked in with green, I found the right one, whatever. Yeah? Yes? Okay, good. So I don't need to, I don't, I don't care about any of these other yellow guys. Yeah? So now, in regards to documents and testimonies, I only have this one that tells, that's the only one available to me. So that should, at the bare minimum, turn green once I pick one of these guys. Okay, so Mr. Barnes is involved in the scheme. Dead flowers on display. And I feel like the cactus spine is one, is the other one. I just feel like that's got to be it. Or the rose is for sale, dude. Hmm. Okay, so that's awful. So, and it tells me that, let's, let's do this. Well, we can't even move forward here because I got, I don't have any more of the other stuff. Okay, we got to look for more clues. We got to look for more clues, people. In fact, uh, see this? I have no documents or testimonies. I need to get more documents and testimonies. Yeah? You're answering the question at the bottom with the clues. Why is Barnes acting so strangely? Yeah. This one here. I got that, but I'm saying like, so now what I'm guessing here is that since I have no documents or testimonies, I got to go find more of those until I find the right one. This is broken and I can't even, I got to find more if I can even try again. Okay. We're going to go find more d documents and testimonies. Okay. Talk to me again. What, this provide evidence has got me all twisted. I don't know what it wants me to do here. Like do this. But I can't do anything unless I go like this. But I can't even, I can't even like pin this. Maybe, maybe I got to leave. No, that can't be right. Pin the circle with her. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to this. I can't, I, I literally can't pin anything right now. This is her. Yeah, space first. No oh wait. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> okay, that didn't help. Um, why don't you look at uh, my book? Not this one. This one. I don't know anything about this. Sorry. Alrighty. Um, what about um this one? Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. So she didn't like the thorn. Oh. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. This is... Oh... She doesn't know how it appeared, dude. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. They just posed, they just placed it there. So let's go back to our goodies here. What, more evidence? All right, let's work. Um, Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. What do you make of the flowers in Barn Shop Window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. Whoa, okay. She might be into Mr. Barnes, dude, because if she thinks he's tall. Joke's on her. A uh, relatively new step ladder in the corner. This, she's not going to care about this. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower I'm going to throw all of this at her. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. 
But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. Most so days. we see each other. Most Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would edge such longing onto his face. Okay. Okay, we've covered all the evidence with her. That's what I'm gathering there. Let's get back to this. Okay, so now we should have uh, stuff. Character portrait of Mrs. Fleming. Got flowers on display. No, that we already did that one. Um, we, this one here we go. Mrs. So her take on Barnes. Hmm. Okay. Now. Cactus spine potentially poison. So let's see. All right. So there's dead flowers on display. We know that one's good to go, dude. Why is Barnes acting so strangely? She has her take on him. I don't know if that would explain why, he, why he's acting strange. She wants to be familiar. Yeah, she wants to know him, dude. Maybe that's why he's acting weird. Maybe he's nervous. Mm. Cactus. I like this one here. Mr. Barnes loves Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Barnes, Mrs. Fleming, sitting in a tree. Uh, Barnes displays a bouquet of dead flowers to attract the attention of Mrs. Fleming, a florist. He may hope she will come into his shop and give him watering advice. I really was buying into the fact that the dead flowers was because he tried to kill me. I really was. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid. He may hope, well, well then what did he run away from me for? He may hope she will come into a shop or simply be a symbol of his desperation. Or could it be a symbol of his desperation? Ugh. Barnes anonymously gifted her a cactus, which he ordered from the catalog on his counter. A questionable choice. But for Barnes, a symbol of his eternal love, since the catalog present, they've had one conversation. Let's not use the phrase eternal love. Plainly, this, plainly, this is the same cactus he dropped on the strand outside. And that's why the needle was there. Nobody was trying to kill me. But why'd he drop it on there? What's he doing at my place? And how come I can't go down? Oh, <laughs> scroll. Um, now to hear the full story. Okay. It's time for the full story now. Now we're finally starting to understand what's going on. So he's in love. We got to help this cat out. Okay. Oh, because he always oh, delivering a bug and he dropped it out. There's a needle. I am very paranoid. That's what happened. Okay. Is anybody trying to kill me? Is it on to the next one? Okay. So we're, we, we did it. Hmm. I uh, <laughs> think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Okay. Let's go tell him, man. We're going to help him out. Hey, uh, stick around. He's... He's a little shy, but he's a good guy. I thought he was trying to kill me, but well, I was wrong. Okay. Going in now. Mr. Barnes, she's into you, homie. Hey, Mr. Barnes. Come on, buddy. Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. I can't hear you very well from behind the door. Okay. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. <laughs> Bro, you gotta collect yourself, man. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. One spine. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right, then. 
Let's get this guy ready to meet her. So, you know what happened then? I was on my way back from the post office, having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too, and when I got to your door, I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Right, take it easy. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. I'm the worst wingman ever. Dude. Sherlock, I really thought you'd be an amazing wingman. You suck. Okay. Uh, here we go. Um, blah, 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 blah. This isn't really my area. I know what to do. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. I do have a slight tendency to overthink things. Thank you. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. <laughs> I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh, no. Uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh... Yes, yes, okay. Just give me the paper. I Sherlock Holmes is kind of a jerk. Just putting it out there. Here's the strand. Explosion rocks docks. Locals at the Port of London had a rude awakening last night with loud bangs and thick red smoke disturbing the peace. Merchant ship Mos Moskva had docked at Pier N3 in the early evening, en route to Europe, when it was rocked by several concussion explosions. The Port Authority is yet to comment on the incident, uh, and it is unknown if any crew members were on board at the time. Eyewitnesses report seeing... What is this word? Salt Petra? Salt Petra, Shabba, Salt Petra. Uh, leaking into the river. Oh, that's the boat. Leaking into the river. But with the area still off limits to workers and the public, it may be some time before we have a full account of what transpired. Okay. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Okay, so I did not need to... I did not need to have everything. You know what I mean? G money. I don't want to pin it. I want to unpin stuff. What's pinned? But nothing is. Okay. So thanks for go go ask. What are you doing? I said talk to her. Idiot. All right. Uh, where's Watson? Come now. We, we gotta go. We gotta go do stuff. Time to go do stuff. Time to go. Well, that was an utter waste of time. An assassination did seem rather unlikely. There was supposed to be another burglary. I was certain of it. Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? <laughs> no. Well, only that you have a remarkable faculty for deduction and pattern recognition. And that perhaps, if ill-applied, I see things that are not there. Yes. It is London. There will always be burglaries. Doesn't have to mean anything. So it seems. Forgive me. Without something to occupy my mind, I turn into an entirely different animal. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew just the man to help. What do you say? Oh, Watson. Yes, I know it's not the most tantalizing mystery, nor the story to launch my writing career. But it's brilliant. Let's go. Oh, good. Well, his house is nearby. Come. So that basically was a tutorial. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> Figuring out that Barnes is crushing on homegirl across the street. That was my tutorial. <laughs> That's what that was. Okay, we want to go this way. Are you coming? Yeah. All right. 
Where, where are we going? Where, where, what's happening? Can I go in here? Can I get in there? No. Hey, buddy. Not much further now. Okay, well, how, how about this? You're just going to spitball and why don't you lead? There you go. Here, right here? Stenwick is just down the street from Barnes's bookshop. Oh, this is Stenwick's manor. Okay, it's time. Is this lousy attitude of yours because of my altercation with Inspector Lockhart? Did he put you up to this? Sir, the inspector has nothing to do with it. I'm telling you the same thing I tell anyone seeking a missing person. <clears throat> Good day, gentlemen. Forgive the intrusion. Captain Stenwick, this is my colleague Sherlock Holmes, the consulting detective I told you about. I'm excited. At last, a professional. This useless officer refuses to do anything about Kimmy here, my missing servant. What was your name again? I shall be certain to inform your superiors. Okay, Sergeant good. Ruffles. And it's my superiors who made this decision, sir. So this guy's going to be a treat to work with. All right. Are there missing people? Why won't you investigate? Let's do this. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course, here and there. But when life is tough and opportunity comes knocking, you can't blame those who answer. Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, thefts, fraud, arson, real crimes. A servant walking away from his master is not our highest priority. That said, if we find Kimahia breaking the law, we'll be sure to notify Captain Stenwick. Now, I must be off. Best of luck in your search. <laughs> you heard that, didn't you? The way that man spoke to me. I shall need your written testimony. Then we can lodge a complaint. Captain, perhaps Mr. Holmes' time is better spent learning about your servant, so that he may begin his investigation. Ah, yes. Quite right. Fire away. Okay, let's figure this thing out. Now that it, that first one was a tutorial, now I'm a professional detective. Okay. I just want you guys to know something. I already know where they are. I know where the servant is. Earth. Can't say I'm wrong. Can't say I'm wrong. All right, now, let's get a description. Tell me about Kim here. He's foreign, a Maori, all the way from New Zealand. Biggest man you've ever seen, and as strong as two. Dark hair and fearsome tattoos. He doesn't speak a whit of English, never bothered to learn. But I made do with pointing. I invested a lot of money in him, so he must be found. Okay, so, he's huge, he's strong dude, so he wasn't taken by one person, that's for true. And he also, he's, he's not, he doesn't speak English. Okay. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally brings me the morning papers, but yesterday I had to get them myself. He must have escaped the night before yesterday. He was using the word escaped. All right. So he's skiz. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. May I see your servant's bedroom? This shack is in the garden. You can't miss it. Did you search the room? Of course, but only to check he wasn't lying dead inside. Everything seemed normal at a glance. Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted. Gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Oh boy. Um, I want to do this one. I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished? Undoubtedly. The man seemed terrified of the city. I think it was all the noise. He never left this estate. Should he cause any damage, I will bear the responsibility, for it was I who rescued him from savagery and brought him here to England in the first place. This guy loves himself. Did Kimahir make off with anything of value? Heavens no. I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here, mentally drafting my complaint. <laughs> All right, I'm going inside now. Investigation scene found. All right. Okay. So, remember, that first one was just a tutorial. This is real. This is real now. We're real detectives. Okay? I can't get in. I quit. Uh, I guess I gotta stay outside then. All right, we'll we'll look at his place. Run around the manor. Run around. Let's look around. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. Okay, let's have a look at this. Anything here? 
Hmm? Anything? Nothing to investigate here. Wish I could jump. Looking for clues. Oh, here we go. Going in the back. I want to search this place first, like where he stays. Where up? Oh, where's the head of this thing? Okay, here we go. Let's investigate. All right, it's go time. What the? Knee print. Hmm. Looks like a knee print. Oh, like he was hiding from something. Crouched down back here. Gotcha. Okay. Up. Chewing tobacco. Ew. Okay. Does he chew tobacco, dude? Up. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Right. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes, to read the ground like an open book. <laughs> He's just talking me up. All right, with enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct the past. P press Q to see imagination nodes. Interact with nodes to begin. Then recreate an accurate version of events. What? What is this now? W what do you want from me? They made it more complicated. Okay, but like, press Q to see imagination nodes, interact with nodes to begin, and recreate an accurate version. So how do I interact with this? Oh. <gasps> no. Look at him, look at him, dude. Look at him. Wait a minute, he have any boots on. Okay, next. There's node one. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to. So that that was just us looking at it. Is that what that was? Just us looking at him chilling here, spitting tobacco. Okay, we need more stuff. We need more clues. Okay, we gotta get more clues, people. Up over here. This oh. lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Why is that unusual? Why is that unusual? This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Okay, I don't know why that's unusual, but we'll take it. Why is that unusual? A little more. Up. I need five nodes. Oh, I wonder if there's a node here. Nope. Okay. Up. Oh, look at all these clues in here, dude. This is place, dude. This is a shack. Okay. This has got to be something here. Like a face print. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. I'm a detective. I'm a detective. Oh, like the key itself is bent? You guys see that? I'm a detective. I knew it was a face. I knew it was a face. But I'm just putting it out there. Where's the others? Mm. Turn yellow. Okay, one more clue here. Oh, there we go. A small navy spyglass. Okay. Why did he put his 
face in the sack of seeds. Oh. A scrap of Hessian. What the heck is Hessian? Oh. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. He's a big fella. He's a big fella. Coming in here now. Oh. What's this? Guy's got himself a pipe. A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Is it a flute you play with your nose? Clothes made of Hessian. Is Stenwick really so miserly? What is Hessian? Hey, he tripped and face planted. He tripped on this. Let's let's get. I want to do some stuff here. Okay, you guys ready? He tripped, and he went smash. Trip backwards. That looks like he was pushed. But how do I go? Is there more? Like, this is where I'm getting confused. How do you add more stuff? Like, see? Oh, it's burlap. Would you get out of my way, Watson? See, I feel like, like there should be three steps to this reconstruction, right? And I hit next and nothing happens. So it makes me wonder if I need more clues or something. Is there more clues around here? Get out of my way, dude. Bugging me, Watson. Bugging me. Up, oh, more clues. No air coming through it. No air. Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit? Or something else? Either way, it's giving me chills. No air coming through it. Ooh. Bottom chops. The remains of a meal. Okay. No, Watson doesn't understand personal space. He's all up on my grill. Okay. I'm trying to solve missing person stuff. Oop. A heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. <laughs> ah. I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, a narcotic. Okay, so he took a whiff of that and then fell backwards. The ashes are long since cold. Okay. So this fire's old. Okay, it's time. Okay. 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 Now what? No air coming through it. Okay, dude, so you're doing some opioids? We got ourselves an epidemic, homie. Shouldn't be doing that. Naughty. But looks like you had a good meal. So he went like this. And then he came out here and he went, whoa, smash. So, the thing is, if this is in order, the first one is him crouching over there. Second one, this is crazy. Get out of the way! The second one is him actually falling. So, I don't think that this is sequential. You know what I mean? Let's get out of this. Is there any more clues in here? Anything at all? I will say I'm still not fully grasping the imagination piece. I think it's super cool, but I'm not really understanding the mechanics of it just yet. On the bed, do you think? Watson, I'm going to knock you out, dude. See that? It almost made me trip. All right, anything over here? 
Nothing on the bed. Ew! Bro, wash your sheets. Ugh. Vomit. Okay. Gross. Moving on. Go look for more clues. Okay, so I'm not fully under... A key on the wall. I saw a key on the wall. Where do we see a key? In here? I don't see a key anywhere. Tools over here. Plank on the wall near the entry door. Oh my goodness gracious. Are you kidding me? Okay, can I grab it? Well, you know, this isn't a, it's not a, it's not a clue. I can't interact with it. All right, let me see here. I'm still looking around, Watson. You sit there, you'd be useless. I mean, that's, uh, that's where you excel, buddy. Up! The rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. That's what made him pass out, dude. All right, so let me think. Why would someone plug that? Okay. Snap. Snap and stuff. Oh. Like previous does nothing, next does nothing. Alum escape, what's up? So, well. What evidence do we have pinned? It suggests we will see more clues with pinned evidence. Will we really? Okay, let's check that out. All right, let's back up a little bit and let's go into our shick shack. Okay. Cloth in the chimney is somewhere. Someone blocked the chimney pipe of Kimia's shack with a cloth. Somebody went there and went, mm, and that's what made him pass out and fall. Okay, I just want to put it out there. In fact, I kind of want to... That's what happened, dude. So I think maybe the person who was hiding over there with the tobacco... What's that? What the... Oh, look at these tracks, dude. <gasps> these tracks. They seem fresh. Somebody stole them, dude. Somebody stole him. Here's what happened. Okay? Here's what happened. Somebody was hiding over there. And then the guy came in here to do, uh, grab himself a meal. And then this guy stuffed... Somebody somebody stuffed a thing in there. He came in here. He tripped. Ate it. Bonked his head. And this here were tracks they used to wheel him out. They went through here. And this is... They, they stole him, dude. Kidnapped. They kidnapped him. That's the word I'm going for. Okay, so that's what happened. So he didn't run away. He got kidnapped. Okay. Now. Where do we go from here? What I don't like... Is I would really like to... Move these around. Okay, these are not in the right order. That happened before this. How do I switch those? Like go... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I do... No. I was hoping I could move it. Pin the plug chimney, then look at the fireplace again. Okay, let's do that. So pin the plug chimney. Um, Is it this one? Nope. Up. Nope. Up. 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 Where is it? Ooh, look, the key. Um... Cloth in the chimney. We're going to pin this guy. Okay, so we did this. You're saying pin this and then now go look at stuff. Go look at this. What's that going to do? Did that do something? <laughs> I 
Watson, chat's gonna punch you in the nose. Did that do something? I didn't do anything. Someone blocked the chimney pipe. Let's go out. up. Let me go look outside. Okay. I feel like weird. Like these dots. See, look at look at the see the the green orb that's the gold thing. And above it, there's two dots and one's lit up. I don't know what this like next and previous stuff is. Maybe you need all five before you can move them around. That's a good, that you might be right. I, I wouldn't have hated it if they explained that. Okay. All right. Anyways, th I'm telling you right now, somebody's hiding over here. Okay. So there's, maybe there's something in between all this. Can I go inside? Okay. We're gonna figure this out, man. I'm really enjoying this. We gotta find more clues, I say. I'm not seeing any. You know what? I think I need to get on the other side of this door. Yep. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. Yeah, pin the lock and talk to the... The what? Okay, so change. I'm going to change it to the key, right? Let's do this. Nooch. Okay, now. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. This did nothing. I have the key, you know. Maybe I don't have the key. Check the key on the wall now. Okay. Oh, now that I'm now that I have this pinned, you're saying. <gasps> Shut up. Hold on, I'm going to test that theory. I'm going to let me unpin this really quick. And off they go. You guys are brilliant. I think you guys are stupid doop pooper scoop. Okay, let's do this. Why is it missing? Over here, come back. Oh, we got to pin it again. Pin it. Okay, going back in. Oh, I paid the wrong thing. Get out of my way. This guy here. Unpin. Pin. That's not what I want. I want this. Pin it. There we go. Okay, going back in. Okay, you guys ready for some goodness? This is going to be great. Yes, Denwick is no angel, but he's one of my Unusual key print missing. Oh. Ah, come on, hover over it. Unusual form bent to the left. Okay. Is that good? Are we good? What did that do for me? That didn't do anything for me. The clues with the eye icon usually means you have to pin them for observation. Ooh. Oh. Ah, this guy here, dude. Okay, let's look at the trail now. Oh, I did it wrong. What is happening? Pin it. Okay, ready? Let's look at these trips. Trail and Captain Simmons car are fresh pair up. Oh, look. Oh, these grass doesn't grow here. Pile of logs fallen. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden. Told you. I told you. I told you. There are fresh parallel tracks in the garden. The logs near there are in shambles as if someone blah, blah, blah. Okay, we did it. Now we have, now we got to find one more. Okay, boom, boom, boom. One more clue and then maybe we can move them around or something. Um, which one, where's more eyeballs? No more eyeballs. What does this mean? What's this, what's this going to do? 
Captain Simming's testimony. Nobody cares. Okay, let's keep looking around. What's up, Going Gray? The mural. I'm over here. You got something for me? There's an orb there now. Where? The dot, dot, dot box. Looks like you might need to talk to someone. Oh, the ellipsis. Talk to someone about that clue. Okay, that's probably what that is. Okay, so here's this guy over here. Remember? This guy was like... He was just hiding, dude. Whoever was over here was just hiding. Okay? Waiting for the moment. Okay, then the guy went in there and he was cooking a meal and they stuffed the rag in the smoke thing and he fell back and slammed his head. And then this here, these tracks. See? Except it was it's not stuffed, dude. It was it was you. You're in here. Somebody wheeled you out, homie. Right out this gate. Right out this gate. I'm gonna kick this door down. Where do the logs come from? Well, they were just like already there, I think. How do I expand this? Oh. The garden cart was usually kept under the rain cover. Yeah. Now it's gone. Yeah, I can see the whole thing, dude. We need one more clue, man. Maybe it's maybe we passed it earlier. Right? Maybe it's over here somewhere. Something in here maybe? Man. We need to ask ourselves, how do they get in? They climb the wall or something. I'm missing something. Watson doesn't know what he's doing. This disappearance is intriguing. No, I cannot make head nor tail of it. Oh, glad you're here. Why did that just pop up? Fresh parallel tracks in the garden. The logs near the sea. Yeah, we know all this. I think I need to... I think I need to do it to... Someone spat chewing tobacco. I don't care about that. I think I need to pin this and go talk to... I... You know what? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to pin this. The footprints. I'm going to go talk to Stenwick. And he's going to be like, that's not his boots, man. He was always barefoot. Let's do this thing. Hey, buddy. Like this one here. Do you happen to know Kimahir's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest, but I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it matters. He spent his life barefoot. Despite my best efforts, he simply did not take to shoes. Nooch. Okay. Okay. Sometimes you got a snoogans. And that's what just happened. That's what you just witnessed. Called it. Do the key. The door to your garden has an interesting lock. Yes, I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion. It makes them harder to pick. Kimmy here and I both had a set of keys. I'll need to borrow them. No, you'll need to do what I tell you to do. Examine the garden. Okay. You're on your own, buddy. Uh, clues in Stemmick's garden. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. Okay, this is what I have to listen to now. Cloth in the chimney. I thought you were meant to be intelligent. Oh, yeah. 
Says the guy who says the same thing. Are you joking? Why would I know this? I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him something to clothe himself. He seemed unfazed by his bare skin, but I found it distracting. Oh. He likes them. Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. Okay. The guy who stole him was using it. I'm telling you. Was using it, spying on him. Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No. The man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimihir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco. All right. Got more evidence. Okay, you just sit here and be grumpy. Yeah, let's get back. Come, Watson. So we have new evidence now. Now, can we do synapses? It's synapse time. Oh, that is the other one. We're on this mission now. Okay, synapse time. Ooh, two blues. Two blues. Wait a minute. Documents and testimony. How come there's not even a green option? So we're saying it's two blues and a yellow. Blues clues. Okay. Um, I don't care about the clothes. Chewing tobacco. And spyglass. Okay. Now. Uh, observations. Footprints in Captain Stenwick's garden. I don't care about this. Cloth in the chimney. That's a big one, dude. But since there's so many of them. The trail's a big one. Ah. Well, hold on. But I don't have any more blues. Obviously, this stuff doesn't mean anything. Can't see the top ones. Oh, oh, when we were on that. Oh, oh. This up here says trail in Captain Stenwick's garden. So I'll make sure to read these to you. Okay, so this has got to be one. But the problem, well, it doesn't have to be one. The problem is the blues are stupid. Nobody cares about the strand or the cloth made of this. Nobody cares. But let's see if it locks in this one. What? Are we saying that he has something to do with the explosion? <laughs> Impulse does like sass and skiss. So this this means that eh, he, eh, eh, any more stuff? Any more clues? Where does the trail lead? Moscow. Is that what we're saying? Moscow. There's more stuff to figure out here. We need more clues, people. I want to. I want more clues. Maybe we gotta go. Let me go all the way around the other side real quick. Oh, we already did that. I'm, I'm doing it anyways. Okay, this is happening. Okay, is there anything over here now? Probably not. Grumpy Duck with the resub three months. You're amazing. Nothing over here, Grumpy Duck. Now, here's the deal. Okay, I'm going to go look at something. So, the spyglass did nothing. It meant nothing. What? What did it go? Why all of a sudden do I have a fifth one? Why do I have a fifth one? What is that? What's that going to do? Okay, so this here. This is first. 
Now if I do now, now can I move these around? <gasps> the Tin Man did it. Oh, it's different versions of it. Dude, what? Oh, look, see, dude, see the spyglass, dude? Let's see the spyglass there in the second one. No spyglass. And look, this is, this is Kamiya. We know this isn't him. We know it. So this is out. Okay. So it's either two or three. And I really think it's this one because of the spyglass. All right. So he's here. He's looking over in this direction. Okay. Let's go on to the second one. Uh, which would be, really should be this. It's not. What's the second one? This makes no sense. How is he, how is him falling the second one? I don't like that. Maybe there was a struggle? Ooh. Hold on, hold the phone. Struggle would make more sense. But then, so there's a struggle and then they clogged up the smoke? Ooh. Okay, hold on a second. This is amazing, by the way. Oh, they're, oh, they got me. I think they are in that order. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not in that order, but I think that they should be. But I think they got me, meaning this. I was like, they plugged this up and then made him pass out. Or no, 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 no. He took the opi, the, see how he's putting the, he's putting the opioids in there, which, which Kamehia would never do. Okay. Okay, so this is, I think that they got him out. And then they put, and then they framed him. Make him look like he took the opioid and fell. Okay, so they're dragging him out. Let's go out here now. Now, what we need to do is we got to get to a version of this where Kimiya is in the cart. You guys ready? That's not it. Boom! Boom! All right. Now. See this? What do we got here? Yeah, it's not him, dude. Kimihia did not leave. Okay, I got... I, this is it. I, I, I figured it out. Are we done? Validate. Ready? Ready? Validate it. Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihia went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, yeah. then blocked it with a cloth. It's not in Kimihia order. Kimihia inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. Did it. Did it. It's done. All right, so now, 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 now what? Right, now we go talk to him, be like, I figured it out. You guys got kidnapped. Give me some money. Okay, you guys, let's go. Ready? We're going to tell him now. Here, let's, hold on. We don't need the footprints anymore. Oh, we need this. Yes. You ready, buddy? Are you ready? I got, I got some bad news. Okay, now you've been in a good mood all day long, so you ready? You'd best have found something by now, this gentlemen. This guy's a jerk. <laughs> I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimahir. 
Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? I found the residue of narcotics in Kimihir's brazier. There to. are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimihir never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me let me do my thing, man. <laughs> I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimmy here was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic into Kimmy here's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimmy here, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now Hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. <laughs> Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another second wasted. I'm not interested in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. Wow. All right, let me see. What do I want to do here? I don't like the way you talk to me. Do it yourself, then. Yeah. Do it yourself. So now this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna humble him. We're gonna humble this guy. Captain, you are so addled by delusions of competency that you miss the blindingly obvious. Without the assistance of others, you are utterly incapable. Kimmy here endured your nonsense far longer than I will. Uh, the point is, Captain, <laughs> we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door, and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I hope you'll return soon with good news. And in the meantime, please teach your companion the art of brevity. Oh, my goodness. Going gray, gifting a sub over to Mint Flower. Thank you for that, going gray. All right, so he gave me a key to go through this gate when really I could have just gone around. <laughs> right? This guy sucks. All right, let's do this. We're going to open this gate now. I'm doing it. Right. I guess I couldn't have gone around. Maybe I could have. Ooh, let's ride one of these bikes. What are these bikes called? I don't have a Watson. All right, here we go. So now uh, it's time to move on. Yeah. So unpin that evidence. I said unpin it. Mm. There we go. All right, we unpinned it. Go. Penny farthing. That's what this thing is called. I want to ride it. Let's see any clues? Hmm. All right, so if he pulled him out here. I wonder if he went down to this butt here. No? This way? Which way do we think he went? Maybe this way? Which way would he go? Look, look, tracks. I see tracks. Tracks right here, dude. Tracks right here, dude. See the tracks? See tracks, dude. See the tracks? This, this, these are tracks. We go through here. Oops. Okay, clues. Is this the cart, dude? Sturdy rope. Professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. I know stuff. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahir's cart, I gather. All right. 
I want to be able to discover the clue before I hover over it. Right? Don't you guys want to? Seask is a spy. That's what I'm talking about. Only a spy would find that trail. Scar was right, dude. Now he's got green in on it. Everybody's calling me a spy. Up. Oh, is that a... This is the next one. <gasps> Roy Soulsby. Could that be the name of our man? Is this a wallet? Who, okay, well, this guy... That's why he stole it. He, need, he needed some money. He took the job because this is what he owned. A name tag of his own name. Double O skiz, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, there it is, people. He needed, this is all he carried around. Name tag of his own name, Mute. So we got, up. Oh, wait a minute. Isn't this number three? I'm gonna shake it out. Ugh. A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say salt, Peter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. Okay. They're, that they blew up the thing. Investigation scene completed. What, what is that? What does that mean? You keep moving. We gotta keep moving. Let's see if I do this. <gasps> Ooh. Wait a minute. We never did this. Oh, this is one dude. That's one dude. That's one of a man. Okay, now. One they're supposed to be top. I bet you this is gonna lock in there, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This up here says Kamehia Shack. Kamehia's abduction. Do it. Okay, I knew that I locked that one in, dude. Okay, clues and sandwich garden. I feel like there's more we got to figure out, don't you think? Oh, dude, Mr. Barnes loves Mrs. Fleming. That's definitely in. Abductor's trail. Okay, I think we need more more observations. Salt Petra is basically gunpowder. All right, so where does it, where does it lead? We know it went to the dock. We heard about the dock. That tells us Moscow. Um, I mean, this can't be it, right? No, that doesn't tell us anything. We got to find out where he's at. We got to keep moving. We got to keep moving. That's what needs to happen. Okay. What's this one? What is this about? What are no, what are the notable features of the abductor? Okay, spyglass. Mm. Mm, notable features. Oh, calling card. That's for show. Um. The footprints. Look at that, dude. We got spyglass and footprint, dude. But we got sailor's knot. Oh, just to tell me that he's a sailor? Is that what you're going with? hey -o! He is a sailor, dude. Crushing it! Okay. All right, so we got that done. That one's all nice and good. This one's not done yet. My synapses are struggling. But I think I need more stuff. Okay, Kamehia was kidnapped by a sailor. We know that much. Where does it lead? We got to get more stuff. We need more. We need more clues. Right? There's more clues to be had. But I don't know where to go. In fact, let's go back. There's got to be more clues, man. Look, right there is a clue. A large pile of horse droppings. I was gonna say it looks like Dookie. Oh, a horse involved. 
Oh, oh, we loaded him up in a horse thingy. A buggy. <gasps> Many cigarette butts. Someone stood here for hours. All right, so the there guy... There's a cab waiting here. Our yep. abductor slipped in and then off into the night. Yep. Okay, they went this way. They went this way, dude. They went this way, dude. Look. Let's go talk to this guy. Uh, what kind of evidence can we present him? Um, can you want to look at something? No. I wish I could get like, rid of some of these. Um, you want to look at Sailor's Knot? No. Mm, calling card? Let's do this one. Hey, buddy. I said, hey, buddy. Oh, you won't even talk to me now? What about the horse? You talk to me? This guy won't talk to me, Watson. You don't know anything. Is this familiar to you? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. This guy knows nothing. Try the synapses now, you think? Did I really get new stuff? So we have these two locked in. We need... Where does the trail lead? It leads to the dock. Maybe this one, probably. I got you. I bet this is it. <laughs> All evidence points to the port of London. We now know that Kimihia's, I can't say his name right. His kidnapper is most likely a sailor, that his wallet bears Salpetra, I'm saying that right, residue, and that there was a recent Salpetra accident in the port of London. Everything suggests that to find Kimihia, we must head to the port of London. There's no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the Port of London immediately. Okay. Let's the do strand it. proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident. Doctor, do you recall? I want to I I undo this and undo it. The Port of London. Of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed. We shall need to take a cab there. Okay. Taxi. Okay. Oh, yeah, we depart. You cannot return after leaving. Be sure to finish everything you wanted to do here. We're moving on, people. We're moving. Where to go? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. Oh, have a good night's rest. Going to the Port of London, people. Two stripes. Ooh, chapter two, the Blood Red Knight. That horse just laughed at something. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He's dark. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but... Sometime later, I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. But without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? Oh, 
Oh, Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press C to open the case book. We know all this. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, dude? You ready? Are you ready or not? It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. Okay, the thing is, I think we're gonna stop here, and here's why. Okay, I told everybody we would talk for a quick second. <laughs> quick second. So I could tell you what why I disconnected for a while. So we'll do that. And then we'll pause it here. We're gonna save it, and then we'll pick up on chapter two. It's perfect. New save. Save it. There it is. We saved it. It's going to be a long chapter of this. Yeah. So that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's what we're going to do. Um, all right. Let's talk turkey. Can I even mess with that? Um, I'll just do this for now. Leave it right there. All right. So what am I doing? So I'm going to, I'm going to do this quick, <laughs> right? Last couple of weeks have been a little brutal. So I'm going to do this fast. Uh, I'm just going to say the words. Um, so yeah, I, I disconnected for a while. I couldn't stream for a few days there and then was able to stream a little bit as a good distraction and this and that. Um, so I'm just going to give the insight and move on. <laughs> I'm just going to tell the story and move on. Uh, couple weeks ago came home and one of my dogs had killed one of my cats and that's already, I mean, that sucks. Um, but this is like, I've owned a lot of cats and this is like the sweetest cat I've ever had in my entire life. And it was actually my daughter's cat. So, um, like her cats are everything to her. She's had them since they were kittens. They're only like five. And, uh, this is the sweetest cat in the world. This cat would just like expose its belly to be rubbed and, my dog Griff would always give it baths and stuff. It was not Kevin who did it. Um, but anyways, so just a long story short. So you guys know, so Dobby, um, that dog was supposed to be euthanized like seven years ago, but we rescued it because it was unadoptable. It was very aggressive and a dangerous dog and all that. And uh, so we just did our best for like seven years. And then in the process of that, he still managed to bite four people, even though we kept him away from people. He managed to bite four people and then he did this and we know it was him because there was scratches on his face and we knew and it was, it was awful because my wife and my daughter and I came home from an event we were at and then we saw scratches on Dobby's face and I'm like that's very bad because what we always do is we always put him in his crate when we leave like everything it's just a long story how like everything that could have gone wrong went wrong like there's, a, there's so much to the story that I'm not going to bore you guys with, but it's one of those things where it's like, dude, every domino fell for that to happen the way it did. It was terrible. Um, so there was, the, there was nothing. So like when my daughter's in New York and she FaceTimes me, we FaceTime and then I got to take the phone upstairs so she can FaceTime her cats. Uh, this cat was the sweetest thing in the world. I call it her nickname. This was Ginny. And uh, her nickname was sniper shot because she would just roll over like she got shot and just expose her belly. She was the best anyways. Um, so when my daughter went to feed the cats and she didn't pop out, I just had the worst feeling ever. And then when I found her in the office, it was, it was not this office, but a different one. It was awful. And there was nothing more awful than looking my daughter in the eye and telling her. So that was really bad. So that happened. And then that was just very, 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 very hard to manage right? Very hard to manage because I love my cats and that was the sweetest cat ever. But then my wife and I had to make the terrible decision to put Dobby down. I probably should have given some sort of warning to this story. Um, I've never, I've owned so many animals in my life and I've never even entertained uh, putting an animal down for behavioral reasons. I know it happens all the time. I don't do it. Um, but it, it, it's, it's awful. So we had to make the decision because I ran through every single scenario and I still have another cat Raven. And I'm like, he's going to do this again. And especially when, when dogs who are aggressive in nature get a kill, it's sort of like opening Pandora's box. Right. Um, I, I am seeing what you guys are typing. You guys are very kind. Um, so it is sort of like opening Pandora's box for them. And now they're 
doubly dangerous. Uh, so like I said, he had bitten four people and then he killed the cat. And I was like, he's going to kill the next cat or he's going to kill one of the foster puppies. Like, this is what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is, I have, I, this is, I have to make this decision. And if I take, and I even talked to the vet about this and they're like, if you put them in a shelter, they're just going to put them down. And if I put them in a no kill shelter, they're going to adopt them out and he's going to hurt somebody else. So it was one of those things where I was like, he was supposed to be euthanized seven years ago and in dog years, that's 49 years. So it's like, we kind of gave him, you know, 49 more years, but it doesn't make it any easier that the day that we had to put him down, which was an exact week ago from today, um, was a bad day as well. So, uh, you guys know my animals are everything to me and like this, I lost two of them. So it was, yeah, I, I know it's like weird. Like everybody and not like everybody's told me it was the right decision, but it was, it's, it's still very hard. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. So it was, it's still very, it was still very hard and, and it's still, everything is still like kind of raw right now. You know what I mean? So that's why I was just sort of disconnected and, and then, you know, what's crazy is like, so you guys know it wasn't that long ago. I had, I put Seymour down. That's the cat I had for 20 years. Um, and then, so I was down to two and they're sisters and that's Ravenclaw and Ginny. And then I, my first stream after all this, I actually did with Tango and it was our first played up stream. And then when you do practice mode or when you're in the lobby, rather there's two cats walking around. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> right. I'm like, you gotta be joking right now. Um, so anyways, I've been pretty disconnected. I've been pretty distant. You guys have obviously your patience has been fantastic and everybody goes through hard stuff. Everybody does. And I'm just, I'm just going through it right now. That's it. So I'm going to, I'll get to the other side. No problem. And, um, and just, you know, I've been doing my best to, to, to manage that. And, and it's, you know, my wife's not the same and my daughter is resilient. Whew. She's unbelievably stoic. Um, so anyways, it was, uh, that makes the dogs on my right so much less funny. So I write dogs on my right. It makes it less funny, but almost kind of like funnier. It's a, it's a dark humor, right? Uh, it's a super dark humor, but you're reading me correctly, right? Yeah. So anyways, there, there it is. So that's, that's what the, the oddness has been about. Uh, and there you have it. All right, let's find you guys. Thank you for your patience and your awesomeness and up. Oh, let's get my giant ugly face. Not so giant and ugly. Okay, there we go. We take it down here. We, we, we talk like this every day. Derp saying this must have been extremely hard to come out and tell us a story. I, for one, appreciate that you did this. Give my unlimited love and support to the family. Thank you, Derbs. Thank you for that. Yeah, believe me. And this is, I, I'm sure, I think you guys know enough about me to know that this is not a sympathy thing. This is a, I just want to give a little bit of just some insight and I want to leave it, leave it at that. Everybody goes through hard times and I guarantee you, with 364 people in the chat right now, probably well over a hundred of you are going through a much harder time than this. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying, like, I'm just giving some insight. That's all there is to it. Where's the, where's the, <laughs> something weird happened with my thing here. Petrus says, thank you for sharing and thank you for streaming. I can't imagine what it feels like. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you, Petrus. Redhead, hand me the hundred bits. Fantastic stream as always. Thank you, Redhead. Redhead, hammy, hammy, manny. I can't find, there's no stream button. Why is there no stream button? <laughs> there it is. I had to refresh and it popped up. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's pick somebody. Let's send you on over to, we are family skiz and that's why we do this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. You guys are just always too understanding. I'm going to send you on over to Ginger Crush. Let's load that up. Playing a little Stardew Valley. I gotta tell you, I've seen more and more people play this game. I don't know what's grabbing them, but it's just one of those games that I, I have to imagine if I played it for two seconds, I'd be like, oh, all right, guys, I'm going to send you on over. You guys are the best. Make, uh, make, make, make Ginger Crush smile. Be good. Be good to each other. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully streaming tomorrow. Hopefully doing a uh, birthday stream tomorrow. That's right. There. I just said it. I become an older man tomorrow. All right, guys, be good. Be good to each other. And I will talk to you later.